its administrations, you know, fight against corruption, all the issues with law. But I've been joined quickly by our judiciary correspondent, Imanu Bagudu, who was there at the NBA conference to give us um, a, a quick insight into what happened and how it went down. Well, welcome to the conversation, Imanu. Thank you very much, Diane. Yeah, <laughs> quickly, what was the ambience like in the hall when the president made that comment? Well, it's, uh, of course, you know, the NBA is uh, made up of both government and private lawyers. And of course, you know, uh, inside uh, those lawyers, among those lawyers, we have those who are into private practice, and we have those who are working even for the EFCC and also for the federal government. So of course, you know, the ambience is going to be that of you know, reaction based on personal interest. You know, uh, EFCC lawyers also are talking about the federal government prosecutors. Of course, of course, go you know with uh, with what the president is saying. The likes of Benny Carney, the likes of Rotimi Jacobs. Of course, we know these are people who have been working for the EFCC as prosecutors. So, of course, I think they, and immediately the president made that statement, some of them were very happy. But, of course, you know, those who are defending, you know, the accused politicians, the politicians on trial, they will not be happy with that statement. You know, they're talking about the likes of, uh, of, of Ahmed Raji San, who is defending the Suki, the like who is also defending uh, uh, Yakubu, that's the former GMD of NNPC, who is also facing anti-corruption charges. And, of course, we have a lot of lawyers who will not be happy with what the president is saying. You saw a feather at the there, at the person to say, he's a lawyer of patient Jonathan. So he will not be happy to hear the president say that kind of thing. So the, 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 the ambience there is that of, you know, personal interest. While, 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 while you know, um, the, the private lawyers who are defending these politicians, I know, are frowning and nodding their heads, you know, in disagreement of the president, the, the, the federal government lawyers, talking about EFC lawyers, are, you know, having a field day. They're enjoying what the president was saying. Okay. Because, of course, it's favoring them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, secondly, many have said that mm. this comment yeah. In a gathering of legal luminaries, it's like taking the fight to the opponent's den. It's like taking yourself as a meat to the opponent and saying, this is what you... I mean, many have said there's so much cause in the first No, I don't, I, I don't, I don't dis I, I disagree with that. I disagree, I disagree with that. I, we're all journalists. We know that, of course, we know... If the president is aware of the implication of what he's saying, he knows that it's no big deal for him to make that kind of statement. Because, of course, he knows that he also pay... He also employ lawyers to pay them. He pay lawyers to work for him. And, of course... The, 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 the so-called lawyers, so to, sorry, sorry, uh, so to say, the, the, the so-called defense lawyers, defense lawyers who defend these politicians, also, you know, get their proceeds from the economy in which President Buhari is running. Of course, for a lawyer to, you know, get up to 1.7 billion naira as legal fee is as a result of, of course, the, 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 the work of the president. Of course, if the president doesn't make the, the condition favorable for that politician, he won't get up to that amount, you know, to, you know, pay for those legal fees. So if you see if you tell me that you know he, he's taking the fight to the opponent, I don't think so. Almost all the lawyers there, so most of them, are, most of them, most of them, you know, will agree with the president that in some cases, in some cases, not all cases, because the president was very, very specific and was very, very straightforward. In some cases, you have to, you know, compromise right, judicial rule of law for the for national interest, for mm -hmm. national interest, because we, we you cannot use one person. One, one person cannot hold the country to ransom. Okay. So, so the reason why I said that is the fact that the lawyers, it's a 50-50 kind of thing. There are federal government lawyers and there are private lawyers who are into private practice. I know, you know who makes the more money? Who makes more money? It's the, private guy. it's the private lawyers. The private lawyers, you know, I was in the, I was in the court one day when um, uh, Justice Gabriel Kolaoli was, you know, you know having a, a, a side gist, you know, out of the a case that was going on. He, he, was, he was chatting with Mike Azokame, senior, senior advocate of Nigeria, why he said, Mike, I, I wish I did not accept this federal government appointment. I wish I would have been into private practice. By now, I would have been a senior advocate of Nigeria, and I would have money. But right now, look at me, I'm being stressed up. And you guys come here every day, you speak English, you stress me, and it was a joke, everybody just laughed. But you know, the point there is very straightforward. We have private lawyers, we have federal government lawyers. And of course, we know that the private lawyers make money, more money than the federal government. So the private lawyers will not be happy with that kind of statement. And of course, we heard the position of the NBA, NBA, NBA chairman, Mahmoud Yaqub, Mahmoud Balaribe Mahmoud, where he said they, they are going to work on how to address the, the statement the president said. He didn't yes. say they are completely not happy with it. But they were addressing They were, they were addressing this. They were addressing the okay, Thank you very much, Imani mm -hmm. Bagudu, for coming. Um, quickly, thank you very much. Thank you very much. For having you. Yes, I'm speaking to Imani Bagudu, our Jewish correspondent. We've got a short break now. We'll come back. We'll speak to a legal practitioner and hear what the law, or what he has to say as regards all of this um, comment by the president. We'll be right back.